hey everyone welcome back to another episode of my channel so today's video is all about my length retention routine for 2019 so if you're interested then definitely keep on tuning in So my first tip for my length retention routine would have to ensure that my hair is clean. Initially I used to use the dark and lovely or natural shampoo but right now I've switched the Mikala shampoo for two reasons. One because it's affordable and two because my hair loves it. So you have to ensure that your scalp is clean because if you have dirty hair, dirty scalp, it means that your pores will be clogged and that will deter you from having growth like your hair won't grow so you have to ensure that your scalp is always clean yes and your hair and then this footage is from my first video on youtube but i'm going to have an updated video on my wash day routine so you guys watch out for that but like i've said you have to ensure that your scalp is clean so that your hair can grow well yes and to avoid um product buildup as well so clean scalp is equals to length retention or hair growth yeah so my second tip would be weekly deep conditioning. Now, you have to ensure that you deep condition your hair oftenly. And I use the Mikala conditioner because again, my hair loves it. And I think it's affordable. It's around 150 if I'm not wrong. But conditioning your hair helps you um, retain moisture in your hair. So that means that your hair won't be dry and it won't break um, VV. <laughs> yeah, so ensure that you deep condition your hair oftenly. So you'll be able to retain moisture. And then another thing, your hair will be strong yes conditioning your hair helps your hair how am i repeating myself it'll help you have strong hair so your hair won't um break and it will be healthy and it will thicken in the long run so always ensure you condition your hair often i deep condition my hair every week just because i prefer it that way and i've done it for so long and i've seen that it works for me but find a routine that works for you so if you feel like you can deep condition your hair after every two weeks well and good if you feel like you can do it once a month although that i feel like that's too that's a long period of time so maybe once or twice a week would work so after i'm done deep conditioning my hair i normally use my trusty paper bag i know these things are illegal in kenya but i only use it on my head because it works for me and it helps me to retain heat to generate heat into my hair so my my pores are able to open up and take in or rather suck in the deep conditioner yes and then once i'm done i take my scarf to just also help in generating heat as well and then i have it in for around for around 45 minutes to one hour and then after that i wash it out yeah and that's it so always deep condition your hair regularly um another tip would be to moisturize and seal so first of all I use water to moisturize my hair and these days I actually use warm water just because it also helps in opening up my cuticles and then my, the water will be able to enter my hair my my hair in short yeah and then I use my castor oil to seal in the moisture the water and I use castor oil just because I have high porosity hair and so I need something heavy to be able to seal in the moisture and I like it because it's, it also has a thick consistency as you guys can see and then i also have this um small bottle that i use to uh, to apply onto my hair so i put the oil in the bottle and then it helps me in applying the oil onto my hair because it has this aka nozzle that makes the work much easier and i got this from my mom i don't know where she got it from as well but yeah so i can't really say where i got it from but it helps me in applying the castor oil onto my hair when I'm, moisture, when I'm moisturizing and sealing in um, moisture into my hair. In short, yeah. So always ensure that you moisturize and seal so that your hair doesn't get dry and then starts breaking off because we want to retain length this year. So I start off by spraying the water onto my hair like you guys can see. And then... I give it like two or three minutes for my hair to you know suck in the water or take in the moisture 
and then once I'm done I take the castor oil I apply it onto my hair like so so I like it because it's it has this thick consistency and because I have high porosity hair I need something thick that will be able to seal in or stay onto my hair shaft like so and then I also ensure that I concentrate onto the ends of my hair just because it's more fragile compared to the other parts of my hair so I ensure to apply a good amount of moist water as you guys can see and then I apply the castor oil so concentrate on your ends just because that's why the hair starts breaking off and since we want to retain length we ensure that our ends are well moisturized and sealed like so yes so the fourth tip would have to be stretching my hair so normally I like stretching my hair just because if it's in its shrunken state it means that I'll get tangles and knots like like crazy and I don't like it and tangles and knots leads to breakage and so that's why most of the time when you guys see on see me on my videos I always have my hair in like um, braids or twists just because I like stretching my hair because if <laughs> tangles and knots are the devil and don't want that so always ensure that you stretch your hair whichever way you you'd want to do that so for me it's mini twists and mini braids because I'm avoiding tangles and knots and then another point would have to be protecting protective styling yes it's um, it's another another way of also stretching your hair but the thing is with protective styling you, you want to do that just because you put your hair away yeah so every time you do your protective styling you avoid touching your hair every single time you avoid um, manipulating your hair so less breakage then that that means that you're retaining your hair and then another thing about natural hair I've realized is that you have to choose between cute styles and long hair because every single time you're having the, those cute styles it means that you're breaking your hair is breaking off so you're not retaining as much length as you'd want to so if you don't have protect you have a protected your hair and you're selling hair every single time your hair is breaking off if you're having your updos and your braid outs and twist outs every single time nearly nakatika and that's why you end up not retaining your, your length so for me i go for chunky mini twists just because it's easy to do and undo and my hair likes it and i'm still able to to keep up with my routine and for that reason i go for mini twists for protective styling yes yeah, so always put your hair in protective styles for it to do its own thing to grow and retain the length yes And then last but not least would have to be using using a certain scarf silk or certain scarf on your hair whether you're natural or relaxed because this helps to retain moisture in your hair any other fabric sucks the moisture from your hair and that means that your hair will be dry and the long run you'll have to your hair will have to break because it's dry so always do this and I always have my silk or satin scarf on my head even if I'm not going anywhere like as long as I'm at home I have the scarf on because maybe sometimes I'm lying on the couch or something and the, the, the fabric is definitely not silk or satin so as long as I'm at home and I'm not sleeping and I'm around just around I'll have the satin or the silk scarf on my head so this just helps me to retain moisture and retain length in the long run so pretty much these are the tips that I have for my 2019 length retention routine. I hope you guys will also use this in your day-to-day -day natural hair journey. So definitely give this video a huge thumbs up, um, comment down below, share the video, don't forget to subscribe and up until the next video. I love you guys. Bye-bye.